guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. So today I was just about to start doing my weekly cleaning, tidying routine around my apartment that I just wrote out and started implementing because I saw a TikTok of somebody else's cleaning schedule actually that they made and it inspired me to make my own. So I was about to go through it right now and like do all of the things and I decided to turn the camera on and vlog it and do my little cleaning schedule to-do list with y'all. I don't know, I thought this would be fun. You guys really liked my last cleaning video that I did, which made me happy because I love cleaning. I think it's sad. Well, I don't love the act of it, but I love it when things are clean. I mean, I don't even hate the act of it. I just have to be in the mood and I have to have good content lined up, like podcasts and videos that I can watch and listen to while I'm doing it. But today I'm in the mood. It's the start of a new week and I thought it would be the perfect time to take y'all through my weekly cleaning to-do list. So like I said, I was inspired by the TikTok that I saw of somebody else who shared their cleaning schedule and it was broken into four categories. So there's daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly tasks to complete. So I made one of my own. I also have a handful of things that I have been trying to do every day just so that things don't get out of hand. It's easier to take a little bit of time to clean up every day than to take a lot of time to clean up if you don't keep things tidy, you know what I mean? But sometimes I get lazy, which is kind of where the weekly part comes in because then I just add the daily tasks that I've been slacking on to the weekly ones. Ideally, I would do the weekly ones on Sundays. I just feel like Sundays give me the vibes of being like a good refresh day and I am posting this on a Sunday. So if you're watching this the day that it goes up, I highly recommend that you, if you want to follow along, you can do that today because Sundays are a great day for that, but I was so busy yesterday. So today is Monday, better late than ever. It's still the start of a new week and it's gonna make me feel better. So let's discuss the tasks that I have on my list today that we're gonna be completing together. Under the daily category, I have make my bed, wash the dishes, scrub the sink, wipe the counters, vacuum and put any clothes away. I already put clothes away this morning, so I can check that off. I usually make my bed in the morning, but on the weekly side, I need to change my bedding today, so I'm obviously not gonna make my bed until I've changed the sheets. Duh. And then on the weekly side, which I'm also going to be doing today, mop floors, dust slash wipe down furniture, wash and change bedding, like I said, I'm doing laundry, I have kind of a lot of laundry to do, clean Charlie's like food and water bowls, take out the trash and recycling, scrub the toilet, and that's it. It's getting hot. I turned my air conditioner off so that I could talk and it not be like really annoying. And I'm also wearing a sweatshirt, I do understand that, but the thing is, I love wearing sweatshirts and they're my favorite thing to wear. So I'm like not gonna do anything about it. I'm just gonna turn the air back on. So, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna start off by vacuuming. I need to actually, why did I close this? I need this to be handy. I love vacuuming. I don't know if that's weird. I love my vacuum. That's why I love vacuuming. And I love all the little attachments that come with it. I vacuum my furniture. I vacuum the floors, obviously. I vacuum the ceiling sometimes. <laughs> I just charged it, so we should be all good to go. The vacuum that I have is the Dyson V8 Animal, if anyone is interested. I think they're on like the V11 at this point. I got mine off of eBay, an open box, but it had never been used, so it was a little bit cheaper. And I love it. It's my favorite thing besides my coffee machine that I have. <laughs> Speaking of that, I'm probably going to need to make another coffee. I made one this morning, obviously. But as you can see, we're running a little bit low. Let's freaking get started with the cleaning to-do list. Start listening to a podcast. I'm listening to Your Own Backyard. Chicks in the Office just came out. It's an hour and 40 minutes. Oh, yes. Okay, that's that's queued up next. Start vacuuming. I'm a dancer. On the night of February the 13th, were you working at the Black Bottom Cafe when this murder was committed? Yes, but I didn't do it. Then who killed Kirk Robert?
interesting setup we have going on here. You are, in fact, in my dryer, but I wanted to, while we're here, I wanted to show you the laundry products that I use. So I've been using this detergent for a while, the Tide Free and Gentle, just because it has no dyes or perfumes. I was using this for all of my stuff. And then I recently started using this one, the seventh generation fresh lavender, because I just want my clothes to smell nice. I don't really give a f about the towels and the bedding because that's like what my face is gonna be touching and I have acne prone skin that I've been treating for like a year and a half. So that's, I use this one for, this is so heavy, not my hand shaking. I use this one for the towels and bedding. And then I started using this one for clothes. This smells so good, I just got it at Target. And then for dryer sheets, this is so boring. Like who gives a f I can't, I can't pull them out. They're like, the box is stuck. But they're the Bounce Dermatologist Tested Free and Gentle. In case anybody wanted that information, you're welcome. Okay, I feel kind of dumb because, this is a weird angle. I feel kind of dumb because I need to wash my sheets and like take the sheets off my bed and change them. And usually I have my second set of sheets already washed and like ready to replace immediately. But as I was putting the first load of laundry in, I realized that I actually didn't wash the other sheets and I just put laundry in. So now I have to wait till that's done and then I'm gonna throw these sheets in. I like these ones better for summer because they're linen, so they're like more breathable so I don't like sweat my dick off at night. But that was kind of dumb of me, but oh well. I'm gonna take the sheets off my bed and those are gonna be the next to go in the wash and then I have my darker color clothes and then I have another set of sheets to wash. <laughs> Heavy laundry day, but I'm very grateful that I have a unit washer and dryer here, especially in New York City. That is honestly rare. So I've heard to have, and it is so nice. I just feel very grateful for that, especially right now. Yeah. making good progress. I put the, my sheets in the dryer and then I put in another load of clothes. After the clothes are done, then I only have one more thing to put in the washer and then we'll be done with the laundry. But right now I'm going to mop the floors. Um, I just have this Swiffer, I don't know. I don't know. All right, I got it on. Now it's time to vacuum the hardwood. I'm gonna start in the kitchen because it's probably where it's the worst.
evening hours. Still a little bit light out, but it's getting dark. And I feel that it is now time to do the last few tasks, which are washing the dishes, scrubbing the sink, wiping the counters, and then I need to clean Charlie's food bowl. Also, the water bowl is too, but I just washed that. She has a fountain. I literally just cleaned it. We're good on that but I need to wash her food bowl. I don't know why, but washing the dishes is something that I can slack so hard on. Like that is one of the things that I dislike the most. And it's so easy for me to just like not want to do that one every single day. But obviously if I don't do it at the end of every day, then things pile up and it gets worse. And then it's just more painful when I have to eventually wash them, you know, because they need to be washed. I don't know what it is about it, but washing the dishes, I hate. <laughs> Maybe it's like the old food thing. I don't know. It's just not my favorite thing to do, but it's gonna make me feel better. And same with scrubbing the sink, wiping the counters down. Like it feels so good to wake up the next day to a clean kitchen. It's an amazing feeling. I hate doing it, but it's a great feeling when it's done. I look so disgusting. I'm sweaty as hell. Can I take my makeup off? I gave up on the contacts hours ago, if you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done with the list. Hi Charlie, I'm gonna wash your bowl. Charlie, I'm gonna wash your bowl. I know, you're so precious. I love you. Charlie just woke up. It's so loud in here. The air conditioning is pumping. We know the drill. It's very hot outside, so we do what we have to do. I'm gonna go wash all the dishes, put them in the dishwasher if I need to. Some things I have started, it's probably so loud. Like, why am I standing in here? Some of the dishes I've started soaking in the sink first so that if I have anything like oatmeal, for example, stuck to the sides, like I can wash it off before I put in the dishwasher because that clogs the dishwasher filter so fast and then i have to like take the whole thing apart if you watched my cleaning video like a few vlogs ago that's what happened <laughs> i'm just trying to be preventative the only part of this that i don't enjoy is washing the dishes scrubbing the sink and then wiping the counters down is so satisfying to me and it makes me feel so good and also once the sink is scrubbed we're out of commission for the night like i cannot cook anything else or have any use any other utensils that need to be hand washed because we're not putting anything else in the sink for the night period we're done with it so it feels like a great way to end the night, personally. It's not even like late. I just want to do this now so that I can shower, skincare, unwind, have my me time. I also washed my sheets, my bed sheets, as you guys saw. So I need to put those on my bed and make my bed before I go to sleep tonight, obviously. Let's go do the dishes and the other kitchen things. And it's gonna make me feel so much better. I'm not in love with you anymore. I didn't know you ever were. Let's not make this any more difficult than it already is. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, I'm not in love with you either. Yes, I know. I look so bad like I have never looked worse honestly hi it's me I'm here to end this video if you can't tell I'm sick it's not COVID and it's also not strep
fun fact. Anyway, I forgot to end this video. So that's gonna be all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every Sunday or you just want to get notified right when I post a video, make sure you turn on my post notifications for my channel. It's the little bell icon so you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. I hope you guys have a great week. Do something nice for yourself this week. Even if it's just something small, do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I love you so much and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.